December 5th, 2022, was Artemis 1's closest flyby of the Moon, passing about 130 kilometers above the lunar surface. During this flyby, the spacecraft performed a 3-minute, 27-second burn that set it on course for a return to Earth on December 11th. The burn was performed during the close flyby in order to exploit the Oberth effect, making more efficient use of the propellant. The Oberth effect was a principle in rocketry, where firing an engine at high speed, especially deep within a gravity well, like near a planet, yielded much more useful energy and kinetic change than the same burn performed at low speed. This was because the propellant's own kinetic energy added more significantly to the rocket's total energy when the rocket was already moving fast, making maneuvers like orbital insertion or escape much more fuel efficient at periapsis, lowest point of orbit. It was a key concept for efficient space travel, allowing spacecraft to slingshot for huge energy gains. How it worked. Energy conservation. The effect relied on the conservation of energy and momentum, particularly the kinetic energy of the rocket and its exhaust. Kinetic energy. A rocket's total energy included its chemical potential energy from fuel, plus its kinetic energy. Ha. The sweet spot. When fuel was burned at periapsis, closest to a planet, the rocket was moving fastest. The small amount of exhaust mass, when added to the already high velocity of the rocket, resulted in a much larger increase in the system's total kinetic energy than if the burn had been at a slower speed. Analogy, it was like pushing a swing. It was easier and more effective to give it a big push when it was already moving fast at the bottom of its arc.